Denmark declares Iran regime plotted attack, recalls ambassador, and calls for new sanctions. Danish intelligence head Finn Borsch Andersen told journalists on Tuesday that a man with a Norwegian passport and an Iranian background is being held after he was arrested on October 21st in neighbouring Sweden. According to Anderson, an assassination plot against a Denmark resident was behind the large-scale police action. He said, This is a case that entails an Iranian intelligence operation in Denmark. In our view, it was an Iranian intelligence agency's plan to assassinate a person who lives in Denmark. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo congratulated Denmark in a tweet for uncovering the plot and said that for 40 years Iran has made Europe a target of terror attacks. Danish Prime Minister Lars Lok Ramesson said in a tweet, It is totally unacceptable that Iran or any other foreign state plans assassinations on Danish soil. Further actions against Iran will be discussed in the EU. Denmark also recalled its ambassador to Iran. US weighs sanctions relief for some countries that cut Iran oil imports. The US is in the process of considering potential sanctions relief for some countries that significantly cut their Iranian oil imports, the State Department said on Tuesday. US sanctions on Iran's oil buyers snapped back on Monday, forcing key importing countries like China, India, Turkey, South Korea and Japan to either make major cuts and seek waivers or risk getting blocked from the US financial system. The State Department spokeswoman said, Our goal remains to get zero oil imports from Iran as quickly as possible. We are prepared to work with countries that are reducing their imports on a case-by-case basis. US calls on Iran to follow example of Cyrus the Great. The US State Department spokesperson Heather Newitt has called on the Iranian regime to show tolerance towards religious minorities. She tweeted on October 29th, which is Cyrus Day, asking the Iranian regime to follow the example of the first Persian king who is known to have protected the religious freedom of numerous groups and nationalities in his vast empire around 500 BC. The Iranian regime has been regularly condemned in the past three decades by international organisations and Western governments for its violations of human rights, including persecution of religious minorities. In Iran, four conservation scientists face espionage charges that carry the death penalty. Prosecutors in Iran have charged four conservationists with sowing corruption on Earth, a crime punishable by death. The environmentalists, who work with the Persian Wildlife Heritage Foundation in Tehran, were arrested in January on suspicion of espionage. Iran's Revolutionary Guards accused them of using camera traps intended for monitoring the rare Asiatic cheetah and other wildlife, to eavesdrop on the nation's ballistic missile program. Many observers view the detainees as pawns in a power struggle between the Revolutionary Guards and the Iranian regime president Hassan Rouhani's administration, which in a review last spring determined that the spying accusations are baseless.